Hey guys, what's going on? It's Billy here from the Best Place by Gold Online, and uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope you had a fantastic last couple of weeks. Sorry, I've been a little bit absent. I've been rather ill, down with a sickness um, and sort of a virus. Really, really knocked me for six. But I'm back now, um, and I've got some um, couple of news articles to share with you today. Uh, the first one is obviously gold critical juncture at and set to go higher, and this has come from a trader um, on uh, the New York Stock Exchange. So. Gold has shown some signs of life this month after dropping in May, following announcements of possible summer Federal Reserve rate hike. The, trader, uh, the traders believe that the climb will continue, and there's one group of stocks that will be, very, be a key beneficiary. And if you, after watching this video, if you check out the link in the description below, uh, I've just shared a um, the link to Mike Maloney's video on mining stocks. And if you are in mining stocks, I highly recommend you go ahead and watch that video. Um, very, very insightful and um, some information you need to know um, with regards to mining stocks and you know where they're heading. So obviously, the gold miners ETF uh, GTX surged 9% Friday after the release of a week jobs number for May, although it was down slightly uh, mid-morning Monday. Uh, Todd Gordon, founder of the trading analysis.com, sees the ETF surging even higher especially as he believes the U.S. Central Bank will actually hold off on the summer rate hike. Um, you know, gold is reflecting the Fed's complacency here going into these summer months. I don't see the Fed rate hike, he said Friday on CNBC's power, la uh, power lunch. That should put a top on dollar and push gold higher. Boris um, Schlossberg, uh, Managing Director of FX Strategy and BK Asset Management, believes gold is also headed for another rally, but it's de uh, detri uh, detriment um, won't just be the dollar. Sorry, I really can't um, speak well at all today. <laughs> even if the dollar does rise, even if the Fed does raise rates a little bit, I think it's going to create turbulence in the equity market and the sell-off in the equity market. The risk aversion is going to help gold, and I've you know spoke about this risk aversion before, and you know the flight takes place from risky investments at the top right down to the safe um, investment, which is gold. And um, he said, when you look at gold miners, you can essentially look at them as options underlying it, underlying, which is gold itself. I totally disagree with that. It is not gold itself. It is paper, and the only thing you should uh, concentrate on holding is uh, physical metal. But there's no reason why you can't, in the short run, make a, a good fortune from these gold mining stocks and these surges in the gold mining stocks themselves. So um, Schlossberg also obviously points out to points uh, points to China, a major gold buyer, as a key detriment um, of the precious metals future levels and as the current tree's yuan continues to weaken. But should gold maintain its current levels, the GTX will be sold um, by the summer months. He said. Gold is at a critical juncture right now, holding at $1,200 support level, he said. And if it can hold that, then it will begin to rally. And most importantly, if gold can break the $1,300 to the upside, it's just a screaming buy for gold miners. Um, and it's just a screaming buy now to um, buy physical metal. Um, forget the gold mining stocks. Forget the paper stuff. Um, it's completely irrelevant. And um, you should be holding physical because at the end of the day, Fiat currencies are not going to last, and they are insistent, central banks this is, uh, on inflating away the currency, um, inflating away the debt that they've created, and they will not do the grown-up thing. The grown-up thing is defaulting. Uh, they hate deflation, and they will do everything they can to in cause inflation, and that is very, very, very good for gold. Um, so there you have it. That's just my thoughts on this article. Um, obviously. He talks about obviously the 1200 support level, just some other things that you need to take into consideration. If it breaks below that level and that support level then returns to, turns to a resistance level, so the price will be bouncing off it as if it's a ceiling, there's nothing stopping it from going to 1080. And uh, that then is a very, very good buying point again. Um, and you can swap again more, more paper currency for more gold, uh, for more physical metal. Again, though, like I said, if it finds the 1200 level, it rises up to that $1,300 level again, breaks through the $1,400 level, that's a historical level, it, it, it will go to $2,000, $2,500, um, 
in you know in next to no time. Um, and at that point, I believe that you know the game's over. You will not be able to get um, physical gold, and if you you can, you're waking. You you've got massive backlogs from the refiners. So just my thoughts there. Um, getting gold now while you can. If you haven't done already, go ahead check out my website goldfinancial.de. Um, go ahead and register yourself for a free account if you wish. And thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.